continuing the uh, series of capturing groundwater into a bulk ground tank and you see a circle red today is the uh, tank installation the tank has already uh, arrived it's sitting next to the t uh, smaller one this tank is 5000 liters the base is 2 meters so I'm cutting the base with a meter uh, radius string to go around it and uh, slice off or uh, cut off or uh, dirt duck out uh, half of the high end uh, grass and put it on the lower side this is to use later on for the um, uh, stabilizing of the uh, soil on the lower end. So it's piled nicely over on both sides. And the next job is to dig up the dirt and uh, <coughs> on the high end and fill it up on the low end. Half an hour later, um, so all the high end has been uh, pushed over the low end, and uh, you know as you are filling in. Uh, I use my weight to uh, walk around it to um, pack it down. So, checking the level as you go along until you are um, happy with the uh, final level. So, I had to check it a few times and uh, you know, uh, just take your time to make sure that it's level. So I'm happy with it now and uh, the uh, rocks and gravels that I've dug up along it, I've now laid it onto the um, lower end and then pack it with the grass. This will prevent erosion. Slide the tank into place now. So uh, over time the grass root will grow into the uh, base. And we've selected this tank is because it's got a nice um, gutter or groove um, around the edges. Uh, a few holes along it, uh, you're able to trap, uh, you know, uh, run off from the roof. So um, additional uh, water captured in in the tank. If you uh, compare with the uh, the other tank which is sitting beside, I'll move over the camera now. See, uh, if water falls on this uh, tank's roof, it just run off uh, onto, onto the ground. So with this done, the um, it's, it's pretty easy um, setting th down the tank. The uh, hard job is uh, coming along, which is right over here. Putting all the uh, storm water into the ground. <coughs> 